Hi, I am Paul Lukassen. In my series of geospatial analysis related content, today a video about how to build a custom legend to replace the default legend in a standard map visual. The ArcGIS map visual is great. It takes some tweaking to get the most out of it, but it is certainly worth your while. Just like other mapping visuals, the legend looks poorly and should be improved. In this video, I will demonstrate how to build a custom legend in a Coroplav map. There is also a filter displaying both the preferred colors and the segmentation. Coroplav maps are great for displaying aggregated values within geographical boundaries like states, municipalities or postcodes. For this example, we will create a Coroplav map based on postcode. The map is similar to the Huff Gravity Analysis map in the Geospatial Analysis course. Also, the same data set has been used. Steps. Open Power BI, go to the Query Editor, import your data set. This data set named Population shows postcodes in the Netherlands around Rotterdam. The population data postcode and the latitude and longitude for the postcode centroids in case we were to map them as points layer. Create a table, a color table in Power Query with your segments, the desired colors and the sort column. To obtain the matching colors hex codes, I have used the color theme generated in the Analyst Hub by using a screenshot of the Power BI map. Next, create a table named Append Legend. With the up to bin ranges, you can choose the preferred bins. As a guide for your data sets, first create a histogram and select your bins according to the value distribution. In this case, I have taken six different bins. We need to add the segmentation to the population data. Adding a column is no big deal, given that we have a limited number of records. There are several ways to do this. I will show two. A, condi a conditional column, as shown here, or with the append method, using the append legend table. Let's see how that works. Append the population and the append legend tables, making sure the column headers for population are the same in both tables. The append legend data will be stacked on top of our population data. Sort the rows in the column population, fill up in the legend column, filter out the null values in the postcode column, our model set is now ready and we can load this to this query and the color table into Power BI. In Power BI, a simple data model. Select the ArcGIS map. Drag the postcode to the location and the legend to the color well. The visual is struggling to make sense of our data and it needs directions. Under formatting, make sure that the layers show. Click on the yellow icon. More options show up and select the layer option. Click on the three dots. First we will select the location type. By default, the map displays points, which we could use if we wanted to display a point layer using the latitude and longitude in our dataset. We've clicked the downward arrow next to the points and we select the boundaries. Now we can choose which country, in this case the Netherlands, must be selected. Next, the location type associated with the country selection. 
The pop-up table will show the available vector layers in your country. I select postcode 4 and click OK. Zoom in and the very colorful display of our postcode boundaries presents itself. This is not what we want. So we open the layer field again. Click the three dots again and select Symbology. Scroll down all the way for access to the color settings. Select each segment and change the color to match with the value in your color table. The map is now as we expect, but displays a default legend, which is not very nice and also covering a part of our map. Let's start building our custom legend. Drag the values from the color query in a table visual. Go to formatting, conditional formatting, background, field value, color, click OK. Do the same for the font. Done. Remove the total. And select white font to hide the header. Our legend is now ready. Reshape it, do some final formatting on it and place it on the can canvas wherever it suits you. Your map now shows a nice legend that is informative and clickable. Well, that's it. I hope you like it and find it useful. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.